Okay, let me talk about autocorrelation test of random numbers. Auto correlation test for a set of random numbers, any kind of random numbers. So we will understand whether these numbers given to us are random or not through this autocorrelation test. But uh, before we go to tell you the formula, let me begin from the beginning. So consider a set of n numbers, say consider a set of n numbers and the numbers are say x1, x2, x3, x4 and so on say x n okay and uh, if we think of the variance of these numbers any set of numbers and the variance is defined as variance we usually denote by sigma x square x is the uh, variable so sigma x is square and that is equal to 1 by n sum over i equal to 1 to n x i minus the average of these numbers and square okay let me call it equation number one so this gives uh, us the idea about the spread of the numbers around this mean where of course where the mean or the average x bar is 1 by n obviously equal to uh, uh, into sum xi i equal to 1 to n of course so this is our mean okay now uh, we can rewrite equation 1 for our next uh, steps so let us so let us rewrite expression or equation 1 so in the following form so we call now the sig uh, symbol as sigma x x intentionally instead of sigma x is square whose square root is the standard deviation but we call it now sigma x x that is equal to 1 by n and I write as i equal to 1 to n and this term I write x i minus x bar into x i minus x bar just the same thing I write as the product of two terms let us call it equation number two okay okay now uh, this is ob obviously the variance we write it in a different way but now we think of two sets of numbers for two sets of numbers say uh, symbolically they call they are called as x y we calculate a similar quantity what is that exactly fall like that following equation number two we can write well sigma x y equal to 1 by n sum over i equal to 1 to n x i minus x bar and y i minus y bar and we call it 3 since this is variance 
and this is the relation some kind of relation between two sets of numbers we have x1 x2 x3 up to xn and of course then we have correspondingly y1 y2 y3 yn and now as if we are looking at the uh, uh, relations between two sets of numbers and this formula will be called now covariance this is called covariance so this is the formula of covariance of course the co is important this is variance between two sets of numbers well now let us proceed from here now we define uh, another coefficient another something uh, some uh, formula which we will call correlation coefficient okay so the correlation coefficient what is that we define this as r usually r is uh, the symbol we choose r equal to sigma x y by sigma x into sigma y what are those this is the formula for correlation coefficients between two sets of numbers x's and y's what is that sigma x y is the covariance and sigma x is now the square root of the variance of x that means it is standard deviation and of x the number x's and sigma y is the standard deviation of the numbers y's so this is the formula for correlation coefficient now if we uh, put the explicit formulas for here uh, this formula is easy to remember sigma x y by sigma x into sigma y and uh, say we call it number four if we now put the uh, expressions there we'll have sum over x i minus x bar into y i minus y bar and square root of sum over x i minus x bar whole square into y i minus y bar whole square under the square root okay so we have uh, so this formula is between two sets of observations right so it is relation relation between two sets of observations often in experiments we do we measure certain y with respect to certain x and so on so or we have we are given two sets of numbers whether they are random or not we want to find out whether one set of number is correlated with the other set of numbers so this is the uh, formula for correlation coefficient and if you test this number this number is always uh, it is so it is a definition so if you if you define in such way in such a way the correlation coefficient is always uh, between 0 and 1 so you'll see that if the uh, uh, value r is close to zero that means there is low correlation it is close to one is uh, high correlation one is the perfect cor perfectly correlated i mean if i do the correlation calculate do the calculation of uh, one set of number with the same set of numbers then of course we will get one and if ideally there is exactly no correlation it is zero and so on oh yeah it is not uh, yeah it is defined in such we'll test check it will uh, will uh, 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 not uh, zero it is it is actually uh, between between one and one and minus one uh, we'll test it uh, we'll just check it okay uh, so because uh, it is possibility that there is a 
this number will be between plus 1 and minus 1 the way we defined so minus 1 is the negative early correlated completely uh, the opposite one goes this way uh, one goes completely the other way exactly so that is the high negative correlation high positive correlation and then in between zero is the no correlation so basically r is between minus one and plus one well so now uh, let me uh, so this is the uh, correlation between two sets of numbers but when we test a set of random numbers we have only one set of random numbers. The random numbers can be in numbers some thousand, millions, billions or so on, but we have only one set. So what we do instead is that we prepare two sets of numbers from one set of numbers and then use this kind of formula. Okay, so then, then that will be called autocorrelation. That means we are actually taking uh, one set of numbers and from uh, say we have 1000 numbers and say we have say five uh, take five first 500 numbers and the next 500 numbers and uh, that is we have two sets of numbers and try to see the correlation since they are taken from the same random set of random numbers we can uh, call it uh, not correlation it is autocorrelation kind of that let me uh, uh, describe you in more detail let us have the numbers x1, x2, x3, x4, dot 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 and xn minus 1, xn and so on. So let us think, okay, well, let us think, uh, well, we have, we take the numbers from x1 and up to say xn minus 1. So we take first n minus 1 numbers. So this is one set. Say let us call this whole set is say some something say 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 uh, say x prime. We then take another set of numbers. Just uh, we count from the next one. So x two two up to x n minus one. So again another n minus one set of numbers, and we we may call it say y prime or so. Now we have two sets of numbers and try to see the correlation. But basically they are taken from the same random, random numbers. And in this particular case, they are shifted by just one. So we are taking uh, n minus one numbers. So we, we make two sets, say x1, x2 up to x n minus one and x2, x3 up to xn and uh, two sets each of n minus 1 data points. Okay. So now if we uh, uh, do a similar calculation for correlation coefficient we now call it say R1 and remember this formula what we left here at the last this is equation number 4 say this remember this uh, expression so this is the first set of numbers x and y is the second set of numbers I mean from the same set of numbers uh, same uh, series of numbers okay so we call it say R1 uh, we intentionally call it R1 because the numbers are shifted by just 1. So we call it R1. So we can write it as R1 equal to I equal to 1 to N minus 1 and XI and the average of this uh, first set of numbers. So we call it say X, X bar and uh, we call it say 1. So it is 1 signifies the first set of numbers. And then we write xi plus 1, 1 shifted, minus x average of the, uh, these two signifies the second set of numbers. Okay. And uh, divided by, uh, 
square root under the square root sum over i equal to 1 to n minus 1 then x i minus x average 1 the square and then sum over i equal to 1 to n minus 1 and then x i plus 1 minus x average 2 square under the square root and so on. So it is say equation number 5. So we have defined uh, the we have just uh, twisted the, 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 the equation number 4 in a little different way because now we are calculating from the same set of whatever random numbers or what and we have arrived at this uh, little more complicated complicated looking formula but uh, it is the same following the equation number 4 so this is called autocorrelation function so this is called this is called same since it is taken from the same uh, set of numbers it is called auto correlation sometimes it is called function sometimes it is called just auto correlation okay uh, so, so you understand the symbol r1 is used as the two sets of data are separated by interval 1 right r1 because uh, because 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 r1 because uh, because the the two sets of numbers are separated by interval or space this is important uh, okay one now uh, we actually uh, follow this rule and we can continue having the uh, data we will be taking uh, data uh, one set of n minus two data and then uh, jump to then we start from x3 and then the data will be separated by interval 2 so in the same way in the in the in the same way same way we can calculate calculate r2 r3 r4 and in in general any rk you understand that this these are the uh, 2 3 4 now now 2 is the gap because if you have one set of data x1 x2 x3 and so on say it is n minus 2 and then you go from here to x3 to up to xn minus 1 xn so this is uh, the gap is gap equal to 2 this way you have gap 3 gap 4 and you can calculate this autocorrelation for any general gap k right well so this is the formula but uh, this formula is uh, uh, formula is little simplified now so basically the autocorrelation is the correlation between successive observations with some gap right so the you can write the autocorrelation is the basically the correlation that we define first between the successive observations from the same series right from the of course uh, needless to say of course needless to say with with some gap so this is what is autocorrelation now uh, there are there are some simplifications are made for example if we take x mean for the first set of data and then we if we take x bar 2 for the second set of data and the if the data are large we are taking huge number of data 
so usually uh, and the difference is not much uh, the gap is not much in that case the two sets average of these two sets should be i mean we can con we can we can we can actually consider them as equal so we can call consider them as equal and we can write 1 by n over i i equal to 1 to n which uh, we can call the mean of the entire data set uh, which is actually the population mean so basically uh, when when uh, the data set is large usually when we uh, deal with random numbers we deal with very very many many different uh, uh, many different many 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 uh, random numbers so in that case uh, so we can consider uh, this approximation so with this uh, the formula 5 so formula 5 what is that 5 is the last uh, last these things exp expression so we can rewrite uh, this we can reduce this as r1 equal to sum over i equal to 1 to n minus 1 that is all right and this is xi minus x bar we replace this as x bar and this is xi plus 1 right minus x bar right and uh, and the this below it is you will have n minus 1 by n sum over i equal to 1 to n xi minus x bar whole square so it is equation number 6 okay so this is uh, further simplified uh, for large n uh, this is further simplified and you we, we disregard this factor so basically uh, for for large n basically uh, further simplification for the large set of numbers for n large so now we r1 becomes it is much more simplified so i equal to 1 to n minus 1 x i minus x bar x i plus 1 minus x bar and this is i equal to 1 to n and x i minus x bar whole square so this is equation number 7 so if this is r1 we can now calculate r2 r3 in the same way and we just uh, generalize this formula and we write the general formula general formula for the gap uh, gap k so i write rk so rk equal to sum over i equal to 1 2 so n minus k x i minus x bar x i plus k minus x bar by sum over i equal to 1 to n x i minus x bar whole square so this is equation number 8 so this is the uh, formula so this is the uh, basically this formula is used so this is the auto correlation uh, you can call it coefficient coefficient at gap equal to k or sometimes called lag lag equal to k so it's a lag k formula so usually uh, when we uh, when we when we 
when we uh, basically uh, uh, write uh, write uh, in terms of computer in, in in computer so usually we write it at a different way usually we we write uh, first we write ck ck equal to 1 by n sum over i equal to 1 to n minus k x i minus x bar and then x i plus 1 by x bar. So, usually we write this is c k and this is called auto covariance. So, it is called auto covariance at lag k not log lag lag or cap k ok. So, usually uh, when we uh, when we put it in computer or normally people use uh, this so they write ck equal to this formula and so rk equal to basically nothing but ck by c0 you see that uh, this oh sorry this is this is i plus k this is i plus k you see this if k is 0 then it is c0 and k is 0 and then that is nothing but the denominator. So, the uh, I ideally it is written as ideally ideally it is written as this first we write calculate auto covariance first we write the 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 the, the auto covariance c k and then c k for any k and as if it is normalized by c 0 and so it is uh, so it is ck by c0 so again uh, this formula is such a defined that it will be between minus 1 to plus 1 uh, this is what we do uh, this is basically uh, this is the working formula this is we can say the working formula uh, to be to be used in computer and that is what I will show you now. Okay. So, this is the calculation part. Let me now go to the uh, go to the go to the uh, computer to write this. So, first uh, to calculate this the uh, the formula is very simple, but we need uh, something we like like we we need to import uh, numpy as n p this is important because we have to create the series of data and of course for plotting later we need to import matplotlib dot pi plot as pi plot as p l t let me increase the size okay oh yeah well so oh no not p ah yeah so let me run it okay now say let me talk uh, think take say n equal to 10,000 data right and we create x equal to np dot random so we go to go to random module in numpy and we test some uniform random number between 0 to 1 and n is the 10,000 are the uh, set of uh, is a number of numbers. So, x is now the uh, the series of numbers x is uh, now 10,000 random numbers between 0 and 1. We can have to calculate x average. So, that is uh, one shot we can in one shot we can do np dot mean of x. So, we can calculate the mean also. Now, remember the formula auto covariance. So, what is this formula? Let me check it again. Remember the formula. Uh, this is x i minus x average and x i plus 1 minus x average. That is it and i equal to 1 to n minus 1. So, and then 1 by n that means the mean. So, better uh, the way I wrote is that I just uh, wrote in a uh, 
as a as a function lambda function for example lambda k since it will be a fun it is basically c k this function of k okay so i write this function and uh, instead of writing 1 by n that means basically it's a mean so np dot mean and inside that i create this uh, series x of i minus x average well and star uh, x of i mm, minus oh not i x i plus k now and minus x average okay and uh, now and for i in range say n minus k okay n minus k and then uh, list comprehension ends and this let me let me let me check it uh, let me let me write it this way uh, let me show you this way well uh, yeah i hope you can see that so this is the formula this is the ck i have written the ck that's it just that okay now well let me run it now uh, this is the auto covariance now i have to calculate the auto correlation that's so nothing r equal to i can again uh, because i will calculate for many many case so i can again uh, uh, write r as a function of k so i can again write lambda k and c of k now i can write right c, c is a uh, function function of k so i can write now c k by c 0 normalization so so this is my auto correlation okay okay so that is it that is c r is a now a function of k and now i want to calculate for various k's for example uh, and i now, now write some some name correlation core equal to r of k for k in say uh, the numbers are here 10000 so uh, now let me let me do it for say 1000 so the 1000 gaps okay so first uh, uh, gap equal to 1 gap equal to 2 gap equal to 3 gap e first one will be of course since i am taking range of 1000 the first one will be for gap 0 that means the, uh, the it will be uh, definitely will be, will be 1 according to my formula and we'll see the rest of the things that means whether there is a relation uh, between the numbers taken with gap 1 taken with gap 2 taken with gap 3 taken with gap 4 and so on uh, anywhere if the numbers are large we'll see there will be uh, some relation between them correlation between them if the numbers are small they can be plus they can be minus because the numbers are random we do not know uh, we are not sure whether which one is up and down and so on so l uh, let me uh, calculate this rk for different k values so i calculate this so it will take some time please wait for some time uh, because uh, i have uh, given some 1000 these things so first it will calculate this then we will calculate this uh, function yeah and then of course it will calculate for 1000 numbers so it's done now i want to plot plt dot plot and i want to see correlation i don't need to give any other thing because correlation it will automatically plot from zero to something so let me check so here it is see the if we if we discard the if we see the first one is ideally it is one and the next onwards the numbers are very 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 small i mean small means it is plus minus zero so it's very small uh, so uh, uh, i mean compared to one so you can automatically say uh, immediately say that the numbers are not correlated uh, if you go for 
uh, gap 1, 2, 3, 200, 400, 600, 800, 1000, where whatever the gap is does not matter. So numbers will be correlated. You can actually test uh, 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 some numbers. So uh, one thing I can tell you, this is I took uniform random numbers. You can take normal random numbers. You can uh, take some Poisson distribution. You can take random numbers from some other distributions, exponential or some other distributions. Does not matter because the numbers are random and the autocorrelation will be shown uh, like this. Okay, whatever you can test that. Now I can uh, I can I can ac actually uh, check uh, the numbers. For example, now uh, I can take say uh, for example hundred random numbers. Let me let me change a little bit. I can take 100 random numbers and I will I want to repeat these 100 random numbers to make it say 100 times and to make it 10,000. How do you do that? There is a uh, function called tile. You see, L let me let me tell you. See, suppose x is 1, 2, 3 and if you write np dot tile x and 3 times, oh I'm sorry, uh, x and three times that means this style will be repeated three times so let, me, let me check yeah so one two three one two three one two three like this right so I will just use that so I take uh, say 100 random numbers and now I uh, check say uh, x equal to x uh, np dot tile x and uh, say 100 times let me call it some y just not to confuse uh, let me call it say y so now x is the uh, random numbers where after every 100 numbers it will be repeated okay so numbers are 100 run first 100 num numbers are random and that those random numbers will repeat so there is a periodicity so let me check whether our my autocorrelation function can catch this pattern okay let's uh, run it let's run it again let's run it again let's run it again ah let's run it again uh, wait it will take little more time a little time because it took some time uh, unfortunately we are given some 10,000 random numbers so it will anyway take time um, yeah what do you expect yeah done what do you expect let's see the code now see the correlation function so you see uh, yeah let me let me uh, let me let me let me reduce the size so you see uh, there are these numbers, these zigzag numbers, these are very close to zero between minus 0 0.2 and plus 0 0.2. And after some hundred numbers, there will be sh there, the number, the, the, the value shoot up to one. It has to be because then the it is perfectly correlated. A number at position zero and number at position say at uh, hundredth uh, one, hundredth uh, position. So they will be perfectly correlated. So the number is one again and then one 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 so the, you see the pattern you see the uh, occasionally after 100 steps the numbers are the correlation is very hi high and it's perfectly one in this case so you can test uh, you can check uh, a, a random and uh, some numbers with some formula say sine function or something like that or something uh, uh, by hand you can do you can actually uh, uh, you, uh, can, you can actually you can actually uh, instead of tile there is another interesting function is there in numpy which is called repeat x say one two three and if you write np dot repeat uh, and it is x comma say say three times what it will show it will repeat each number three times so it will be one 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 two 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 three 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 so now uh, you you just just do this same uh, exercise that I have done with tile you can do it repeat so that's why uh, where you uh, create local correlation that will be very fantastic you will actually 
can do this as as a home task. So there will be local correlation uh, between one 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 one. If you ha repeat hundred times, so there will be uh, in one gap there will be uh, some very large correlations. Next gap there will be small, 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 and so on. So the patterns will not be ag uh, again like the first one. The pattern there will be some correlation. It will be falling from one to something, and you can discover yourself. that any kind of any set of numbers which has uh, certain repetitions in it or certain uh, numbers some patterns in it if we calculate the correlation autocorrelation the autocorrelation plot uh, will be something where there will where also you can see some pattern and the values uh, uh, higher much higher than uh, zero okay either positive or negative but uh, it will be closer to one or so so that's it